Now here's one of those classic game theory questions. It's question three from 2007. It gives you two competing bus companies, Roadway and Rankin, and they're trying to choose between either departing early or departing late. The numbers in the middle is the profit these firms could get depending on what the other firm does. And the numbers on the left are Roadway, the numbers on the right are Rankin. So what I do is I circle the firm on the left and circle all the numbers on the left to remind me that if I'm looking for numbers for roadway, it's the circled ones. If I'm looking for numbers for ranking, it's the ones that are not circled. Question number one, in which market structure is this firm selling output? The answer is oligopoly. But since this says explain, I've got to explain how I knew that. Well, it's actually pretty easy because there's two firms. If there's only two firms competing against each other, then it must be an oligopoly. Another thing you could have said is that there's mutual interdependence or they have to worry about the pricing of the other guy. Now in B, it's verifying you understand how to read the chart. It's saying if roadway goes early, what's better for Rankin to do? Either go early or go late. Well, roadway goes early, Rankin either can go early, get 900, or then go late and get 850. Well, Rankin would rather go early, and so the answer is early. In C, you have to understand the idea of dominant strategy. Dominant strategy is the choice the firm should pick regardless of what their opponents pick. So for example, if roadway should always go early no matter what Rankin does, that means that's their dominant strategy. If they should go late, regardless of rank it does, that's their dominant strategy. If sometimes they should go early, other times they should go late, then Roadway wouldn't have a dominant strategy. The dominant strategy for Roadway, well, if ranking goes early, Roadway can choose between going early, getting 1,000, and going late and getting 750. Well, Roadway would rather go early. If ranking goes late, Roadway can choose between going early and getting 950, or going late and getting 700. Well, they'd rather go early and get 950. Now notice, Roadway should always go early, no matter what. There's no reason for them ever to go late, and so early is their dominant strategy. Next question asks you, is early the dominant strategy for Rankin? If Roadway goes early, Rankin can choose between going early and getting 900, or going late and getting 850. Well, they'd rather go early and get 900. If Roadway goes late, Rankin decides to go between getting 650 by going early, or they can go late and get 800, well, they'd rather have 800 than 650. Sometimes rankings should go early, sometimes they should go late, so they do not have a dominant strategy. The answer to the question is no, right? Early is not their dominant strategy, and the reason why is because they don't have one. Now, the last question says, if both firms know the information on this matrix, but they don't collude, how much profit is Rankin going to make? They don't need to collude to know what each other are going to do. Right? We know for a fact exactly what Roadway is going to do. There's no reason for them ever to go late. And so this bottom half is just not going to happen. So now Rankin has a choice between either going early and getting 900 or going late and getting 850. Well, they'd rather have 900. And so the right answer is $900 because they'll both go early. All right, that's it. That's it for response out of six points. One, two, three, four, and five with the explain. And last one, six. Add them up, see how you did, and try the next for response.